You rolling? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, welcome to the rehearsal dinner of Holly and Luke. Oh, everything's falling. This is a terrible idea. A little bit of tree details here. Very important. You're in charge of breadsticks. I want to get a shot of the watch out for the dog poop. A few things have come to mind. Yes, let me look. Breadstick time. And yeah, there we go. I don't know how well the audio is gonna sound in this because of the uh, windiness here, the windy factor. We're out here a little early because the weather is semi-decent right now. Literally leading up to this wedding, two weeks before, nothing but blue skies. Literally the Sunday after the wedding, all sunny blue skies. Friday and Saturday of the wedding, horrible, cloudy, rainy weather. 70% chance of rain today, but it's not raining right now. So this is our time to shine. Get some establishing shots. Pretty shots of the wild deer over here. Shots of the rustic Texas venue. And yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh. Another day, another wedding. Little uh, Sony a7S III today. Oh yes, any day I get to shoot with the a7S III is a good one. We've got a few of another little goodies here that we're gonna be using at the wedding. First up, we have these Cinepax split diopters. Hold them in front of the lens, they give you some real nice distortion effects. Plus, it kind of doubles as like a brass knuckle attachment thing. If you need to defend yourself at a wedding, drunk guest is coming up to you, giving you some problems, a little ah, ah, and they kind of, they'll get back, or they'll get cut. We got two new lenses to try out. First of all, find it here. Nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. It's in here somewhere. Ah, there it is. First of all, this is the new Sigma 85 millimeter DGDN lens. So a lot smaller, F1.4. Should be a lot of fun to try out. Also, we got 35 millimeter F1.2. Oh, look how big this thing is. Look at this, this is a monster of a lens. So excited to try this out. Start doing a little, little stabilized shooting, a little establishing, go from there. So for this sort of stuff, start off really basic. Nice wide, here's the chapel. Thankfully there's no cars parked out front. Get a little bit of the sign in the foreground, little parallax movement of the rocks here moving. Very nice. Go up close, get a shot of the sign. Tap to focus so it isn't freaking out. Because that first shot was so wide, I want closer and I'm gonna go this way over here. I'm gonna do sort of a reveal, a little chapel reveal. What's that? Oh, it's a chapel. Very nice movement. I'll try not to step in any cow poop out here. This is Texas after all. A little parallax. There we go. And Rachel ruined the shot. Dang it! It was going so well till that moment. Okay, now we're gonna go inside the chapel. Just like I did outside, I'm gonna do a little push inside here too. A little reveal there. Wedding venue here is done. Let's go look where the reception and the rehearsal dinner tonight is gonna to be taking place. If you wanna know how Texas this wedding venue is, all you have to do is look for the signs like this one. Please remain three feet from Longhorns. That's how you know. Very Texas, yeehaw. I would assume this is the rehearsal dinner site, judging from the lights, the tables, etc. Lots of nice warm incandescent lighting again that we gotta work around, but we'll make it work. So with this being the wedding venue as well as the rehearsal dinner site, the nice thing is that we have a little bit of a preview for how things are gonna look. So I would assume that toasts are gonna be happening up here, facing out to the crowds of people. A little bit of tree details here. I wanna get a shot of the, watch out for the dog poop. I wanna get a shot of the rehearsal dinner building slash reception venue. And I feel like this angle here, because we have the lights, we have the trees, I think this looks really good. 
I'm always trying to film my buildings from a corner because that provides a little more 3D effect to things. Let's do a little walk along this way here. One more over here, and then you know what time it is? Drone time, because we have time, and it ain't raining, which means it's drone time. What else would it be? Little Mavic 2 Pro, got the ND4 filter on, because it's a little cloudy, so I think that'll hopefully work. I just kind of got to guess. Because this venue here is just so flat, I'm going to go super low key with this. Just simple reveal of the chapel, I think, from low. I don't want to fly over there too far because I don't want to mess with the Longhorn cattle. One of the best ways to get in trouble at any wedding venue that has livestock is to fly your drone near the livestock and then you get yelled at. I'm not saying that from personal experience. Please check it on the map. I don't know who they got to do the voice for the, uh, for the DJI drones. Please check it on the map. Woo! Big fan of tripod mode especially for stuff like this where I don't need super fast movement. We're gonna go real slow, real chill. Oh yeah, that's a really nice little shot here. A little tree reveal of the venue. Watching that tree that I'm flying near. Not bad, Matt. Still got it, baby. Drone flight complete. Went well, did not crash, did not get struck by lightning, did not anger any of the venue's longhorn cattle. That's all you really gotta look out for is the cows. Time to Set up some lights for the reception. Little cheetah stands, collapsible. Love them. I need to grab the new light. Oh yes, the new light. Oh, everything's falling. This is a terrible idea. Why'd I open up this side? Oh, brand new light. Very, very excited about. This right here is the Aperture 60X. Okay, strapped up, loaded. Ugh. Ready to go. March onward. <laughs> For a fill out here, we have the torch LED. Little, compact, bright. Hey, hey, are you the dad slash DJ slash all of the above? I would love to plug in. Yeah, I saw you had two wireless receivers here. I've got all the audio stuff here so we can plug in here in just a second and see. Friendly, chill, very good. The Aperture 60X. Oh man. Ah, ah, ah. So at this point here, I am setting up lights and audio. Rachel is observing the wedding rehearsal. We love being able to observe the wedding rehearsal because there's always moments that you can miss or not be aware of. And so seeing the rehearsal, you can see everything before it actually happens on the wedding day, which is very nice. So looking how this venue is set up here, as far as lighting goes, we know that people are gonna be sitting over here. So I know I need to consider where I wanna put my light. And if I want the light to be on their face, I think I'm gonna want the key light side to be over here. Cause I don't wanna put my light over there cause right by the entrance and people could trip on it or something like that. Out of the way, but still enough. Put it up to about there. Angle it down a bit. Yeah, there we go. And this is all subject to tweaking. As far as for a bright and groom, love this little light. Because this light's gonna be closer and more visible to like the crowd than that light that's off to the side, I like having a smaller light profile. So like this, real tiny, still plenty bright. I can put this off to the side, light the couple's faces really subtly, and that should look really good. So we're gonna have this guy kind of waiting over here once we figure out seating for them. Lighting, I feel really good about now. Now we need to focus on audio. So thankfully, the father of the groom slash DJ slash entertainment has already shown me the lay of the the soundboard here and we really have two options as far as how we want to plug into this audio so come over here we have phones we have monitor out we have stereo out which i think he's gonna do that so i may try phones i'm not doing phones i may do monitor out one or the other so we're gonna plug in here do some testing see how it sounds. And then I need to figure out which one of these microphones they're gonna be using for toast because they have two of them. And whichever mic they're gonna be using for toast, I'm gonna to put my mic sleeve around it to make sure that I'm recording good audio. So we'll have two sources of audio. And then because I'm paranoid, we also have these audio receivers here. And on the back of these audio receivers are XLR outputs. And so I'm probably gonna plug into one of these XLR outputs as well. 
and have that recording also into the recorder. So I really have multiple backups on backups on backups of audio. Should work well. Here we have the old trusty, never failing Zoom H4n with power cord. Always nice to have, just to make sure things keep running. I'm gonna do one monitor out, and then so left channel will be monitored out, right channel is gonna be XLR out of one of the one of these two boxes. We'll see which one. Do you have a mic stand? Did you bring one? Or I did bring okay. one actually. Are, Just, are you thinking that's going to be people are going to be more comfortable with that? Um, usually it's for me for the lighting, so they're not moving, and then they're just well lit, and they're not oh, so they roaming. It. Yes, oh, yes. It. Let's test this audio here. Yeah, I'm getting that. That's great. Yeah, these are both picking up nicely. I'm just paranoid. Check, check, check. Okay, love it, love it, love it. This audio is rolling. We're running two channels in. So we're getting both, just in case, because clearly like, there's a volume discrepancy, so if he messes with the volume, I still have good audio, which is fantastic. Now I need to grab my mic sleeve, so we'll have that as a backup. Let's go look at lighting over here. Because nobody's actually gonna be sitting at any of these side tables here, my plan is here to have my light pointing this direction. We're gonna have the person giving the toasts over here, because this is the table. So they're gonna be nice and close and intimate. I can get a side light coming in on this side. Or do I wanna put the light over there? Because I think Rachel's gonna be filming with it. Light's gonna go over here. I think I want this side of the face to be in shadow, this side of the face to be lit. A little more cinematic that way. Film into the shadow. <laughs> if the couple's sitting right here, they're looking at the toaster. Light over here, shining this way. Really nice lighting for both of them without being in the way of the other guests, which is really important. And so, if they're there, we have this light on, kind of gently going that direction. Nice side lighting. And so, I can literally be filming here, them reacting. Rachel can be filming the person toasting. Should look really, really good. Microphone sleeve, backup audio recorder. I have this little mic sleeve and recorder that I use just yep. to put around the mic, oh, just yeah. as a backup. Great idea. Because I've had audio fail Sony before. Ones? Yeah, it's I a little, it's so great, it's so great. Yeah, I use them for just general. I love it. It's, it's yeah. wonderful to have. This is Holly and Luke rehearsal, dinner, backup, mic sleeve audio. So, little recorder slides down into there. Slide down when you need to turn on the mic. Slide it back up. We're looking good. I'm feeling confident about this. Feeling good about this. So if we have, whoa, that's a lot of light. Okay, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to tone that down a bit. This light's too powerful, Captain. If you're standing right over there, how does this look? Then, how's that look? Good? Okay, great. I'm gonna go get a wide shot of the neon sign that's lit up with the couple's names. Just so Rachel may do a little bit of overlay magic with it. Very important, you're in charge of breadsticks. This is very important. Optimal. I don't want to hit this thing, but I want to be pretty wide. Love that tilty screen. Feeling really good. Um, time to eat. Breadstick time. Olive Garden. Fancy. Italian. A few things have come to mind. Things that I hope will kind of paint a picture of who she is now, but you know, how did, how did she get this way, right? How did she become this person that she is? Once they actually met, we sort of realized pretty soon on that these two had something sort of special going on. So Luke said, yes, mommy, look. And so I just went, you're really strong. So just, he had shimmied up this thing. We don't even know how he got up there. Wakeboard jumping and water slides. I think these two guys know something about some of this too. Well, writing rehearsal dinner complete. I think that went very well. Very happy with the lighting, very happy with the audio. I think everything turned out really, really good. And the best thing is that the wedding is happening here tomorrow. So we already know what the reception's gonna look like. I already have thoughts for where I wanna put my lights. I already know how to plug into the soundboard. And Rachel attended the wedding ceremony rehearsal. So I feel very prepared for the wedding tomorrow. I'm not expecting a lot of surprises, which is really good. 
I prefer to be as planned as possible, and by attending the rehearsal, great way to do that. So, thanks for tagging along tonight. See you tomorrow morning. Two quick things for you before I go. First, I want you to know that this is the second part of a three-part video series all about Holly and Luke's wedding. So if you want to see the first part, which covered us adventuring with them in the mountains of Colorado, getting some beautiful footage, I will leave that below. And whenever the third and final part is out, which covers the wedding day, I will link to that down below as well. It would also be a huge help to me if you would consider liking this video and subscribing if you want to see those other parts. Lastly, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to two companies. The first is this video's sponsor, Musicbed. If you film weddings like me, I'm sure you need to license music for your films. And one of my favorite places to license music is Musicbed. I've been using Musicbed basically since I started filming weddings, and in my opinion, they have some of the best music from real bands with real emotion. If you want examples, I'm excited to tell you that you've already heard some, because every single song that I've used in this behind the scenes video is licensed from Musicbed. With over 700 indie artists and composers offering record label quality music that covers a huge range of styles and genres, you're basically guaranteed to find something that matches the vibe that you want in your film. You've got Clay Finisand with a smooth, romantic voice that sounds like butter. When you're in love. Natalie Madigan, who melds a classic and new pop sound. And Nevada Wild, who punches you in the face with their awesomeness. There's just so much good music that isn't hard to find because their search tool has so many advanced features and they update their curated playlists all the time. So it's really easy to find new songs that not everyone has used yet. Let's talk about money though. You can license per song if you want to, and I used to give Musicbed literally thousands of dollars per year. But in 2018, they came up with a wedding filmmaker subscription option, which gives you unlimited music from hundreds of musicians for one flat yearly rate, which for wedding filmmakers like us, that's a major win because we have so many songs that we need to use in our films. Oh, and they created a system called Sync ID, which automatically removes YouTube copyright claims for any music that you license through them using your subscription. All these songs that I've been playing in this video, no copyright claims. You and your couples won't have to deal with music copyright issues on YouTube, and that's amazing. Sound cool? Okay, use the link down in the description below to sign up and use the coupon code MATMUSICBED. All one word, all caps, very difficult to misspell, and you will get your first month of an annual wedding subscription for free. That's 12 months for the price of 11 to license unlimited music. So thank you very much to Musicbed for sponsoring this video. Also, I want to give a big thank you to my friends at Arceus Creative for helping me edit this video. If they were not here to help me, you would probably never see this video because these behind the scenes videos take so long to edit. But that's why I have my friends at Arceus Creative. If you need help editing your wedding films, corporate videos, YouTube videos, literally anything, they would love to help you out as well. And if you use the link down in the video description, arceuscreative.com slash whoismat, and tell them I sent you, they will give you 10% off your first edit. So, if you're struggling with your backlog, or you have part of the editing process that you hate, like color grading or sound mixing, regardless, no matter how big or how small the project is, Arceus Creative would love to help you out. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.